Yeah, how you came to be, cause no longer a mystery. Black sheep is your birthright, it's cold for the one who brings the light. I bet if there's a crack, you don't fall back, remember who you are. No rest for the wicked with their skull degree. The you spell work as projection to send out envy, hate, and jealousy. You are the prototype, your ancestors champion. They shield you and send back those spiritual attacks. You are divinely protected from the dummy bats. Yeah. Big Cat, the most high, got your back. He sits high and looks low, so don't get smoked to smoke yourself. Big Cat, move in silence. Only time you speak is to say check me. Namaste. Grand rising, Big Cat. Welcome, or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your message. All massages, come in, come on. I've got intel, recon is afoot. Energies, up, 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 big cat. I insist, may your comings and goings forever be covered by the grace of Father God, Mother Isis. We have messages from your ancestral team as we fast approach the new moon solar eclipse in Aries, darling dears. There's so many wild stories out there, but I'm going to come through with the messages that they want you to pay attention to, darling dears. Whether you, whether you work on them or not, you have free will, but we will dive in together and see what's going on. Let's get the energy around this read. We're going to use, no, we're going to switch it up. We're going to use the rune stones. Just the one, darling dears. Good golly and gosh. I believe this came, this came out yesterday or the day before. Listen, this, listen, if there's ever you had confirmation that the ancestors are here, this is represented by the ancestors, darling dears. Yes, it does. One of the rune stones. Anyway, this is Ewa's represented by the temperance card in tarot darling dears temperance is represented by the number 14 temperance is sagittarius energy therefore it's represented by pluto the planet of what transformation darling dears change elevation mm -hmm. good golly and gosh i know bestie i know mm -hmm. because you see this is about a raising of your awareness it's also about pointing to the fact that this New moon solar eclipse in Aries is going to be what activating your soul's desire. Whatever your soul has been desiring, darling dears, please watch my comprehensive read where, which I've done on the new moon solar eclipse in Aries and its effect on each sun, moon and rising sign. It's comprehensive, darling dears, mm -hmm, full of insight because um, an eclipse energy usually lasts for about six months, darling dears. So it will manifest in your life and keep unfolding. It also speaks about you having been on a difficult journey and you are now at the end of said journey. This is about you coming out of a situation or circumstances where there was a lot of confusion in your mind, darling dears, a lot of destruction, but something has to be what broken down for it to be real built, rebuilt in the what in, in the face or with the persona or the energy it was meant to be in darling dears. Mm -hmm. It's also a reminder of you with the temperance energy that you have a foot in both worlds. On the rune stones, this is represented by the number 13. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about what you're being guided at this moment in time. And it's also, as I said, represented by the number 14 in tarot. Okay. Let's get the energies around this so we can remind ourselves as we go deeper into the woods. Mm, good golly and gosh. The Pluto card itself comes out with an 11, darling dears. Transformation, as I said, regeneration, the birth of the real you. This expects yourself to be more in tune with your inner self, that quiet voice, darling dears, your higher mind, your subconscious mind. And it also speaks about instant manifestation because you are able to mix and bend, blend. You are an alchemist, darling dears. I've told you this many times. Mm-hmm. Okay. The energy of Pluto is also um, something 
to do with ana at was it at at anatom at i can't even say it can i spell it and atomic yes that's the word something atomic could be to do with the rockets that are being fired into the into the eclipse by nasa darling dears um pluto is a fixed water sign okay fixed water it's a fixed sign is something that it's adaptable but it doesn't really like change darling dears but this is about you moving forward in a positive way mm -hmm. okay 100% it's about your psychic gifts darling dears 100% mm -hmm. okay the rebirth and evolution of you bestie remember I told you that put it on your almanac look at it often mm -hmm. Pluto as I already said rule Sagittarius Sagittarius is the ninth house the ninth house is for higher learning, a higher mind. It's also about travel, um, distant pe people, or taking on um, a different culture, darling dears. The ninth house is also about your religion or spirituality. You're going to be viewing it in a different way. Something to do with the radio. Somebody's got a radio, but this is this is a cranking radio, a hand cranking radio. I'm seeing some. That's the image I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're getting all your survival kits together, are you? Nothing wrong with that. Always be prepared. As a big cat, that's a must. Mm -hmm. It's nice to um, have it and not need it instead of needing it and not having it. Okay. Let's carry on, darling dears. It's also about your ethics. It's your ethics that's brought you to this point. This is why many situations that had degenerated or eroded around you, darling dears, it had to be removed, but you had to be strong enough for it. And it also speaks of ancestral protection, hence the energy of the temperance. You are never alone. As I told you many times, you have 64 ancestors that are supporting you at this moment in time in the age of Aquarius. In April 2024, the luckiest month, as or especially um, the 20th and the 21st, when Jupiter and Uranus are in conjunction in the second house at 21 degrees the second house the house of your of your resources darling dears um the past um your talents your skills how you make your money something to do with the government is going to be significant around that time i told you me personally i believe it's going to be the time of the biggest transfer of generational wealth but you know we shall see the second house is also about your reputation darling dears People are going to start, start seeing you for whom you truly are, seeing the light within you, whether you are religious or spiritual, darling dears. Your words are carrying spiritual weight. And this is a reminder of whom you are and the purpose you came here to complete. And that purpose is what? Your life path, darling dears. That's all in your birth natal chart. Somebody's also going into astrology. Why not, darling dears? There's so many different practices, well over a hundred. Find, find one, okay, and learn the one. And once you've learned it as much as you want to, you go on to another. Don't chop and change because it can be confusing. Because if you're doing tropical, Western tropical astrology and mixing it with Vedic, you can get, it can trick you, darling dears. It can. All right. Okay. This is a feeling, darling dears. Because as I said, somebody's about to take an embark on a long journey, darling dears. It could be for education. It could be for for some kind of a, um, a meeting, a healing journey. Mm. But it's also about publishing. Somebody's going to be publishing about their journeys. Maybe you you do a lot of foreign travel. Ninth House is foreign travel. You're about to be publishing this information. If you are, you're going to do extremely well. You are a natural born teacher, darling dears. It's about your beliefs and your philosophies that you're supposed to be spreading, as well as your testimony, which is a survival kit to another big cat. The energy of the ninth house, darling dears. I've put all of the 48 laws of power into the astrological houses. The ninth house is represented by law 19. Know your audience. And in saying that, I say this. As a spiritual being having a human experience, you, as you awaken, darling dears, you tried to impart it on others who were still asleep. They made it seem like he was the crazy one. You wasn't. So now you know your audience and you will feel the energy of your like-minded soul tribe when they approach you. Mm -hmm. 
Law 28, act boldly, darling dears, always be bold. Favor favors the brave, member told you that, fist bump. And Law 36, you've had to learn to ignore the unobtainable, has, as have those that wronged you, darling dears. Because this is, with this new moon solar eclipse in Aries, the first house, darling dears, it's about yourself, your self-awareness, um, your persona, it's about your health. Many people wish bad health on you, darling dears. It also, the first house is about your childhood. If you've got any traumas in your childhood, darling dears, all of these things will be coming up around this time. Something to do with a um, maternal grandfather or paternal grandmother. But it's about you being assertive, right? In being your true self, no longer wearing a mask of what people think you should be wearing. This is other people's opinions, darling dears. Like also, some are more flatulent than others. Posh clap. Mm-hmm. Let's carry on. Okay. Sorry, my daughter just sent me a message. Okay, the um the frequency of Pluto is one four zero point two five. Um the crystal is the red jasper. Um if you're going to be using this frequency, play over the next um 12 to 20 days even though jupiter's transit is 12 to 20 years i'm saying days because this energy is current energy that's coming on right now in your face mm -hmm. it's also speaking of um a transformation in your sex drive maybe some of you have been celibate celibate and you're now feeling that that awakening in that quiet place mm -hmm. why because your true divinely guided partner is on their way lots of transformations in all areas mm -hmm. But definitely, definitely dive in deep into the occult. Get in a different worldview. If you are thinking of publishing something, do it, darling dears. This is the time frame to do it. You are a counsellor as well as a teacher. And your words, you never know whom your words and your energies will heal. Mm -hmm. As a light worker, this is part of your part of your purpose. To heal others with your words, your actions. What's this? Pennywise, son or daughter. Other people's opinions, darling. There's people from what? The bottom of the pit. <laughs> Their name is Prakala or Prakalisha, darling. There's this is the hating crowd. We've got the two and the four. That's um, energy of a six. These people want you to cooperate with them again, darling. There's they would like to harmonize the situation. We've got Libra as well as Taurus energy. Mm -hmm. This is ruled by Venus. Why? Because you're abundant. It also speaks about your artistry. They didn't think about you creating whatever it is that you did, but you did. You tapped in, possibly after you got away from their energy. Yeah, it was all part of your spiritual journey. I can't make it up. It's on the energy of the three. The three is the Empress in Tarot, darling dears, nurturing yourself. It also speaks about your self-worth, self-care and self-love. It speaks about abundance. And again, it speaks about your creativity. You're extremely creative. You may even be a mother or father because you know gender is fluid in Tarot. Mm -hmm. But it's about success, darling dears, in all you have been working towards in this new life. Empress represents new life. You may be pregnant. And as I said, you may already have progeny. Somebody's also going to be looking into relocating, darling dears, buying a new house, renting a new house. It could also be um, a mobile home, whatever it is. It's all about the forward movement. Somebody needs to check their blood sugar. Okay. As well as the profanity. Stop using so much profanity. I know it's hard because I'm telling you, they give you so much to work with, bestie. Mm -hmm. You are in the season of reaping what you sow. The five and the four goes to a nine, which speaks about fruition, darling dears. You've attained something. Why? Because you surrendered to the process. You didn't try to force it. You allowed yourself to go through the DNS. What's that? The dark night of the soul, darling dears. But you went through it and used that time to what? To fill up yourself with information and knowledge. Why do I say that? Because of the temperance energy. Being the ninth house, darling dears. Higher learning, whether you went to an institution or you was a keyboard gangster. It's a new beginning for you. You educated yourself out of that situation and and you've built something, darling dears, which is a new beginning for you because Aries, the first house, is a new beginning. But you have to also be careful of accidents over the next few days. 
don't not don't do nothing too foolhardy or spontaneous especially under the energy of this new moon eclipse this is where you have to sit back and listen to your inner voice right look i can't make it up here it is at the top of the list aries leo sagittarius and it's on a six again reminding you to keep harmony and balance darling dears the teamwork could be what the teamwork from within working with your higher self darling dears it also as i said you are going to be accepting of new people coming into your life why taurus and aquarius energy the number six rules darling dears taurus the second house people that have the same on the same financial in the same financial bracket but it's people that it could be also be self-made somebody working in the government but it also could be someone that helps you gives you advice about debt darling there's maybe a friendship is sprung up from there you've also got the libra energy the house of contractual partnerships yeah loyalty is on the way for you darling there's why it's going to mirror the energy that you are putting out there and you are an earth angel remember i told you that okay to give it a good shift in. haven't used these cards in a while let's quickly wake up the deck I fell off the back end we have the energy of the five the five speaks about what conflict and confusion but true change mm -hmm. we've got two major what platform style indias this is like boas and jashin for completion and beginning the dove speaks about what new light but it's also an angel dial indias this is about you being guided by your ancestral team yeah many of you have felt isolated because you're standing alone but there are many that are mirroring you dial indias that are coming into their boas and jashin they'll be finding you you don't have to seek them dial indias mm -hmm. the relics of lumeria fragments memory and reclaiming what's rightfully yours no more clouds darling dears it's a beautiful day for you mm -hmm. the moon does kind of look eclipsed here as i told you it's the energy of this eclipse which is driving your energy at this moment in time some of you may have been having the brain fog feeling sleepy out of sorts especially after you've woken up you still feel tired it's all to do with the eclipse energy building up Let's see what's on the base of the deck we have the energy of 11 darling dears as on the transformation the um 11 is a master number darling dears it speaks about you being a master healer listen to your intuition and remember to keep yourself grounded in the present moment mindfulness is key it also speaks about um you sharing your vision putting your works out there darling dears you never know whom your work is there to heal remember i told you that but you're speaking, you're teaching, you're writing. It's all spiritual weight is behind the things you say, the things you write, the things you do, darling dears. Remember I told you that it's time for you to watch shine your light. Shine your light, darling dears. And the people that don't like it, it's because they're in the shade. Mm -hmm. Messages, channels and information. Sky fire, darling dears. Pay attention. Many of you will be getting lots of downloads or you have been getting downloads of late darling dears many downloads mm, look what's underneath that the crystal path on the what 14 the energy of the temperance it's all tying in together you are being guided and this is about you what having gone into the unknown this is about you learning yourself from the inside out and yes the ninth house is about astrology listen i would advise everyone to learn astrology darling dears have some under idea what's going on understand your birth natal chart it's the key to everything the key to everything mm -hmm. okay let's get another deck and dive a little deeper see what other messages your ancestral team would like to impart on you good god and gosh the elastic band broken it's still on the tray so that this is breaking cycles generational curses maybe you felt like you're stuck in a cycle that was something that you wanted to let go yeah what did i say your true true soul tribe is coming to help you darling dears this is what the three of wands this is partnerships darling dears divinely guided partnerships but this is an equal give and take mm -hmm. i love it i don't hate it the energy uh, this lovely blue energy darling dears it's about spirituality it's about the serenity that you're gaining from within but it also speaks speaks about people energies that are coming towards you are going to be peaceful but they're going to be bringing you a different level of truth and knowledge right 
but it's about you also knowing that you'll be able to give your trust freely why because it'll be given back with loyalty remember i told you that you are not alone many of you felt lonely many of you prefer your own company first card is for you to choose right wisely this is the seven of cups darling dears there's going to be many different things coming forward for you darling there's things coming up the divine wants you to follow the path that which gladdens your heart darling dears the path that that feels like it's giving you enlightenment you feel emotionally balanced you're not worried about what's going on at the left or the right you're you're focused darling dears choose your your path wisely going forward Mm -hmm. because this is a transformative time for you this is scorpio energy the 12th house okay so what did i say did i say the 12th freudian slip meant to come out the 12th house is of the death and rebirth darling there's the rebirth of you it's also about what hidden enemies people are trying to spy on you because they're trying to understand why you've withdrawn from them not realizing that their energy was full of personality disorders darling dears mm-hmm this, it was calmer for you to close certain cycles but let me go back as i was saying scorpio is ruled by pluto energy and we've been speaking about the transformative energy of pluto darling dears mm -hmm. as well as the ninth house which is what Sag um sagittarius energy which is jupiter energy darling dears the expansion of your finances it's about your spiritual growth it's about you journeying darling dears yeah but this is all spiritual darling dears all spiritual and like i said many of you have been on a lone path but you're not going to be alone anymore divine is sending you in a help mate somebody who is of an equal standing of you darling dears equal standing why it's all part of your crystal path mm. what else jumped right up darling dears you was isolated for a reason this is spiritual quarantine because there was things that you had to learn but everything had to come from within it was a nine that practically jumped up into my hand darling dears this is represented by the hermit you've got two major arcana so divine has a hand in your life at this moment in time you are being guided listen to your intuition and your discernment mm -hmm. the energy of the hermit darling dears is in the upright this is virgo energy it's also loner energy so yeah you was isolated but it was for you to have um self-examination darling there's introspection this was in order for you to get so gain gain self-improvement self-mastery because that is the key it also is is letting you know that you are going to be getting a new beginning from this new moon solar eclipse onwards darling dears because you learned to stand alone this this is standing alone on the back of betrayal some form of dishonesty darling dears divine wanted you to learn to stand alone and walk alone why because we come into this male proof alone and we shall leave alone unless you're driving the car and you fall asleep and your passengers are screaming but i digress darling this it's got nothing to do with this and i couldn't help it i couldn't help myself mm -hmm. don't judge me yeah anyhow let's press on we're gonna get one more card darling this and we're gonna break down the energies around that card as i was saying the hermit you was deliberately isolated taken out of situations that you never expected to be without but it was for you to what it was all part of your soul journey for you to learn new things things that will aid and abet someone else's blessing yeah they have to suffer in silence blood whoever did you wrong there's a lot of dull yellow being directed at you darling dears but there's also the orange which is your circle chakra your confidence darling dears people are looking at you through slitty eyes yes because of your confidence your confidence to move on yeah the wand is about you setting your intention yeah you felt isolated but it was not you was isolated from something that was not for you it was the lesson for you to learn and part of that lesson was what letting go mm -hmm. yeah two nines in juxtaposed darling dears this speaks about whatever they did to you in the past was a minor gain and they wish they didn't i'm telling you face of the deck because they are broken hearted someone or someone's that you've left on the rocks of life darling dears yeah look at this this is an archway this is the first time i've noticed it but it's upside and down you were surrounded by blessing blockers people that spoke about you in derogatory ways there was your friend to your face but to your back and when other people are around they treated you different darling dears they're exactly where they need to be mm -hmm. as they betrayed you they are now being betrayed 
right? Okay, let's get another deck. We look deeper into what's going on here. Face of the deck, darling, there's eight of swords. You're living rent free. In many a mind, darling, these people can't believe how much you've changed. But it's a transformative energy of Pluto, and Pluto is in Aquarius. I've also uploaded that read, which is give, will give you lots of insight, darling. Just go and watch it because it's valid for the next 19 years. But then again, all of my readings are. Whenever you're drawn to it, darling, dears, tap in, and there must be a message for you. Right. What's this choosing wisely? Yeah. This is about listening to your intuition, your discernment, choosing the path, right, of truth, right, your ethics, because you have someone or something coming towards you, something that you've been working towards on, towards or on for some time. Yeah, it's about to bring a new level of balance into your life. This looks like a scale in the back, Libra energy, even though it's the six of pentacles, darling, dears. The six of pentacles is represented by Taurus energy as well as the moon. This is to do with your past. It's also to do with how you make your money, darling, dears. You're about to see an upturn in your finances, but it's going to be on the back of your gift. Taurus energy, the second house, is your gift, darling, dears. Mm -hmm. Or oh, you've been using your gift for a long time, but you're about to see a major transformation in your situation because of your gift. Clarify the transformation fell off the back end. Again, we've got the seven of cups. Divine wants you to weigh up the pros and cons before you take your next step, darling dears. Because there'll be a lot of confusions. Maybe somebody will try and tempt you with material things. It's not about just the material things, darling dears. What type of person are they? Remember, no one's got time to waste at this stage of the game where the big cat plays chess, not checkers. Ten of swords. Beware of betrayals, darling dears, because they'll be coming in fast and furious. Why? Because people are jealous, darling dears, jealous of your confidence. How you carry yourself. This is all circle chakra energy. Some of them are in their feelings, darling dears. Maybe you was in a relationship and you're no longer sexually or any way involved in them, darling dears. They didn't like the fact that you took away your power grid. Yeah, page of swords. They're still watching. But all of that energy is being blocked from you at this moment in time. Pardon me, that was a spiritual belch because I speak to the truth. Roof, pinkies up. What about the solitude? Tell us some more about this solitude, this spiritual quarantine that you've been in. It was for you to learn, darling, dears, to heal your health, your physical health, your mental health. This was you, give you gave you time to what? Secure accolades, certificates, achievements, things that you could be proud of, darling, dears. Eight is the, eight is the number of money. Skrilla, dot com, darling, dears, as well as infinity. Mm -hmm. You mastered some form of craft, darling, dears yeah you learn new things it also speaks about your ambitions your achievements darling dears is going to be realized because of the higher learning the new skills that you've acquired and it's also a reminder for some don't be sorry about a situation in the past it was a marriage of convenience for them whether you married them really or it was a long-term relationship they, they, you was dealing with what opportunists, darling dears. That's why they all had to fall by the wayside. Page energy tells me that they're still watching and talking, darling dears. This goes to eleven of swords, and eleven of swords is what the page, page energy. Mm -hmm. The page of swords energy speaks about what? Oh, be very careful. Someone from the past is going to try and come back. They usually come back around clip, clip, eclipse, and with the, with the eclipse energy, darling dears. Yeah, they're going to be a chatty, a chatty bottom feeder, darling dears, wanting to talk. Let's talk. Remember the first 48, says your ancestral team. You're not going nowhere. Be on the alert. Another sober spirit, Peter 5-8, up in this. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Somebody's extremely interested, darling dears. They're going to come back pretending to have a common interest in or interest in what you've done or achieved in your life darling dears because we saw the eight of pentacles it's noticeable pentacles also represents online swords represent online this personal people have been watching you darling dears they're watching you boss up yes and they feel like a fool foolio why do they feel foolish because they ruined it 
whatever the circumstance and situation was between you ten of cups on its forehead darling dears and they're under judgment karma has found their address you're gonna many people are gonna try come back to you darling dears for a second chance family members ex-partners it could even be progeny darling dears ex-friends whatever we will not be re-friending re-co-working re-family membering re-progeny in those that chose to what fetch the black bags yeah moon energy the shade of it all this is a frenemy darling dears they don't come with what true intent and spirit your ancestral team is showing all of this to you this is a new journey for you darling dears yeah you're spiritually protected and it's again stand your ground scotte seven of wands with the death card because this is your transformation season the same way they watched you suffer darling dears you're not even paying attention. Your eyes are all somewhere else. Nobody's looking over their shoulder. You're not looking back. They've created their own hell. When you when you abuse an earth angel that is gifted to you, because you was a gift to that person or, pe or those people, that circumstance or situation, because your words always carried spiritual weight, you just did not who know whom you were. But now you do. Don't allow them to come back and siphon and steal your energy, your words, your ideas. Because they will get their echo praxic. Oh, that's the copycatness of it all. Mm -hmm. Remember, these people gave you misophonia. You couldn't bear to see them breathing and eating, darling dears. Because of their behaviours. And what dropped to me? Oh, this fell right out. Look, Ace of Cups. This is almost also multiple streams of income. This is what you have coming towards you, the Ace of Cups, your cup runneth over. It reminds me of that that um, Psalm, Psalms 23, 5. Divine has set a table for you, darling dears, in front of your enemies. And Psalms 23, 6, as your head is anointed. Remember I told you that? They will get a plastic seat, right, at the front row to watch your metaphoric rise. This is a new relationship for some. It's a whole new naked baby. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Love it. No, it's a star child, darling dears. This is going to be a different child in the sense where it's going to be deeply emotional. It's going to be able to read your feelings, other people's feelings. As you may be um, a reader, a high priest or priestess, you are empath, a hioka, darling dears. Mm -hmm. This also speaks about you feeling more fulfilled, but again, use your creativities because opportunities of abundance is going to be presented to you over the next six months, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Some, it's going to be a whole new relationship, but like I said, they'll be watching. They're going to be watching. What did it look? Three of ones. They're watching, darling dears. They're watching you what? Go towards your dreams. Somebody who took advantage of your energy while it was there. There's the four of cups. They're feeling disappointed and disillusioned. Yeah, next to the king of wands, manipulative energy. They was banking on their charm for you to keep you hanging around forever. Right, all of the cards have gone topsy-turvy. I'm just trying to fix them back up. Somebody wanted, or somebody's wanted to keep you in a situation. Stop, darling dears. Feeling left out. This is the emotional hoodwinkers. What else did your ancestors want you to know? Put the past behind you like a ponytail. Don't give your energy to that situation under any circumstances. This is a new beginning and then it also speaks about travel. The sunflower is is a, it, it can grow in the worst environment, darling dears, and it gets very tall and it's a reminder to keep your head up. Don't be down on what you've, what you've over, down, don't be feeling down pressed about what you've overcome, darling dears. Remember, it's just for recon only, not a place for you to live. You have a new beginning, put the past behind you, but remember what happened, why? So it that bloody happened to you again. Listen, I just come with the messages. Yeah, and that's the truth roof. Pinky's up. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings, my Patreon, or my TikToks, where I also upload videos. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Stay, big cat wave until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat. Happy soul to return, darling dears. Dive in and unlock your true inner self, darling dears. It's your time. Where the what? 
The last shall be first, and the first shall be last. This bump. Slow, so don't get smoked or smoke yourself. Big cat moving silence. Only time you speak is the 